This question is from gate 2015, mechanical engineering paper, set 1, question number 19. Which one of the following is the most conservative fatigue failure criteria? A. Soderberg B. Modified Goodman C. ASME Elliptic and D. Gerber Now if we have this coordinate axis on which x-axis represents mean stress and y-axis represents amplitude of stress, we can mark the yield strength here, yield strength of the material to be SYT. Similarly, on the x-axis also, we can mark the yield strength SYT. Ultimate strength will be higher than SYT. Let's mark it over to be SUT. We will also mark the endurance strength or the endurance limit to be SE. Now, Soderbergh's line is given like this. So, it marks an envelope or an area between the two axes of amplitude of stress and mean stress and the line connecting endurance limit and yield strength. Soderbergh equation is being given as amplitude of stress divided by endurance limit SE plus mean stress divided by yield strength SYT is less than or equal to 1. This equation means that all the combinations of sigma A and sigma N. That means any point here giving a combination sigma M comma sigma A will not cause failure in the material. If the stress is within these limits, then the material will not fail. But any point outside this envelope will cause a failure. That means design should be done within this envelope. So we are taking lower strength value as compared to the other envelopes. How are the other envelopes given? Goodman's criteria is given by this line that joins endurance limit and ultimate strength. So here we are estimating the strength to be higher and all other criterias also belong like this. Gerberg's parabola connects SE and SUT using a parabola. Something like this. So we see that this is Soderbergh's criteria, Soderbergh's line. This is Goodman's line and this parabola gives Gerber's criteria or Gerber's parabola. So we see that all other criteria are estimating more strength than the Soderbergh's criteria. And so Soderbergh's criterion is the most conservative one. So we have the most conservative criteria is given by Soderbergh because combinations of sigma m comma sigma a combinations of mean stress and amplitude stress even higher than Soderbergh's equation are considered to be higher combinations of sigma m and sigma a are considered to be safe in other criteria to be safe against failure in all other criteria or all three criteria other than the Soderbergh criteria. Let's mark the correct option. Correct option is option A, Soderbergh. This topic comes under fatigue failure of materials. To learn more about this topic, you can refer to the NPTEL course video, lecture 26, part 2, fatigue failure of materials, effect of mean stress. It's by Professor Ratna Kumar Annabatullah. He is from Department of Mechanical Engineering, IIT Madras. I hope this explanation will help you clear your doubt. Thank you.